this shop light has started to malfunction. I'm going to attempt to fix this fluorescent light fixture. I've already tried replacing the bulbs and that did not fix it. This is the symptoms. It just continuously flashes. Upon close inspection of the circuit board, I don't see anything burnt, but I do see this capacitor has a raised top. So I'm going to pull these two electrolytic capacitors and test them. Have my trusty desoldering gun. <laughs> There's the second one. Here's a closer look at those capacitors. You'll see the top of this is domed, like puffed up, and that's a sign that the capacitor is going bad. 200 volts, 47 microfarad for both of them. 47 microfarads at about 200 volts. It should read under 0.5 according to this chart and on my meter it's reading 9.4 so this is a very bad cap and here's the second one this is the one that's got the big puffy dome and this one reads nothing so this cap is just totally fried. I also have this other capacitor meter. And this one capacitor reads 39 microfarads. This is supposed to be 47. Now we'll test the one that has the domed top. And it reads 2.6 so yeah I think this capacitor once I replace these I bet you that light works so I bought a 10 pack on eBay cost ten dollars these are Nichicon high quality capacitors but yeah ten bucks man that's crazy with inflation and everything one thing I notice is my new capacitors are a little bit bigger I hope that isn't an issue. And to install, this little stripe is the negative, and you gotta line it up with the positive and negative. So yeah, it does look, it looks like it'll still fit. Yeah, there's clearance. Okay, I put it all back together and bingo baby the light is fixed it cost two dollars for two capacitors and then I have eight spare one dollar per capacitor and it fixed the light 
This is probably the most common reason for failed electronics are these capacitors. There's like a liquidy paste inside of them and they can dry out and burn up and just fail and you just replace them. I fixed so many things just by replacing capacitors. And one thing is essential is an ESR meter, this thing right here. And this is good too, you don't really need this. Just mainly the ESR meter and just soldering tools. I'm gonna put that fluorescent light fixture back here because I replaced it with this LED light, but it burnt my tomato plants. So I'd actually prefer that fluorescent light fixture. And I just reinstalled the fluorescent light fixture. I like these because they're more gentle. The bulbs don't get hot. I've just had good luck and experience with them. Back to old reliable.